Hello, I'm Jennifer Jane. A while ago, I made my first floor out of magazines, and since then, I've had so many requests asking how I did it. So finally, I'm putting together this DIY video to show you all of the steps so that you can do the same at home if you fancy it. When you make these floors, obviously the first thing to do is work out what art you want to put on the floor. We're actually filming this video in Montana, so for today's demonstration, I'm going to use a fly fishing magazine. Once you have all of the art out of the magazines, you're going to want to cut it, obviously, to the shape, size, etc. that you want. So the first thing you need is a paper cutter. Do not try to do this with scissors, it will take forever. Once you have cut out all of your art and it's all ready to be laid down, the next thing you're going to want to do is hit the floor. If you want to, you can just lay your art directly onto the floor. The first one I did was actually on a completely clean plywood floor. However, if you want some colour to pop between your pieces of art, then obviously you can lay down a layer of paint. I just use a normal interior paint um, for this. I'm going to use white and I'm going to cover the floor in that so that that pops up between the art and really like allows the colours on the floor to stand out. So once you've painted your surface and it's completely dry and your art is already cut out to size, then you can mark out your floor. It will really help you keep all of the lines straight and ensure that whatever you're creating across the floor doesn't look like a complete mess at the end of it. So really lay out your lines, put tiny pencil marks everywhere so that you know you've got these little guides as you move along and the beauty of the pencil marks is no one's going to notice at all. Once you've finished marking out the floor and all of your artwork is cut, you are now ready to start creating the floor itself. So grab your Elmer's glue, grab your palette knife, get all of your artwork in a stack and start with the first piece. You're going to, first of all, pour the glue all over the floor. The great thing about this, it takes a little while to set, so you are able to move the glue around to the area that you're working with. You want to do both sides of the magazine page or the piece of art that you've got. The reason for this is if you do not do this, it will start peeling up off of the floor, which is clearly a disaster. So you want to get both sides well and truly soaked in the glue. And then after that, you're going to use your palette knife as you place it into place to move the glue out from underneath and this will ensure a really, really solid fix on the floor. And you really can see this. You, you will know pretty quickly if you've missed some areas because it simply will not be sucked onto the floor like the other parts. If that happens, spend a little bit more time using your fingers or whatever to really move the glue around and make sure it is absolutely coated across both sides of the art. After about 24 hours when the floor is absolutely bone dry, that's when you're ready to apply your sealing coat. Starting in one corner, start to cover the floor in your first coat of polyurethane. And just go back and forth and back and forth until the whole room is done and again, step away from it for 24 hours. When I've done the floors, I've done this three times with the coats of polyurethane and at the end of it, it's very, very durable and I would recommend that you do the same. This will ensure that your floor will last some time and it will also ensure that your artwork is protected and stays looking vibrant, colourful and doesn't get dirty. I've had one down now for about five years and I have recoated it once during that time. I literally just cleaned it thoroughly and went for another coat of polyurethane. I don't know how long it will last in total, but at least five years is what I can give you right now, um, and it's looking pretty great. So the fly fishing one is completed as you saw. I also made a comic book one, which would be super fun for a kid's bedroom or an office space. And I also made one full of cakes because that would look delicious. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like to see any more of my projects, please check out jennyofthejane.com. And if you make this floor, please, please, please send me a photo. I would absolutely love to see what you create. Thank you for watching.